Uh, okay, let's uh, let's get to a couple other things here. The all out ticket sales. How did those go? Um, there, uh, I, you know, I just saw a number before we went on the air it was closing in on 7,000 for the United center, uh, for first day, you know, and, and, and the, um, you know, the pre-sale yesterday. So it's, um, you know, like you, you, I mean, I, I didn't expect a first day sellout or anything like that. It's not like it's a bad number, 7,000 first day, but it's, it's certainly not like Chicago has been previously for all out either. You know, I mean, like, um. I mean, obviously the the first all in sold out instantly, but that was a unique situation. The second had the greatest demand in you know almost in history. It was just ridiculous. But the other ones, like la last year's, you know, if they didn't have the the, the 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 joint ticket thing, they would have sold out right away. And you know, um, but it's a smaller building. You know, I mean, like last year. This year they're going mm -hmm. for a bigger building, and I do believe that the um, you know the Wednesday. Uh, was not that big as far as ticket sales go. It's a lot of Chicago. They were just in Chicago for two shows, you know, oh, whatever it was, a couple weeks ago. Then coming back for three. Um, WWE's coming back for two big ones, that SmackDown and the pay-per-view that will probably do giant business because WWE's more popular. So so it's tough to do three. Um, the pay-per-view will be, you know, I, I, you know, there's no guarantee the pay-per-view will sell out the United Center. But but it'll do it. It will do a um you know it, it, it'll do ten thousand people i'm i'm sure yeah so whatever it, whatever the storyline is for cm punk for that show it's sort of i i'm assuming it's based off of after king the, the owen cup but that that should give us an idea because i can't imagine he's not in the main event of that show yeah 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 i i would think so i would think so and maybe that's why um well you know Maybe that's why Collision is is a little ahead of uh, Dynamite because, and I think in most places it it, you, it wouldn't be, but it is it is in Chicago because I think people see that Punk's probably going to be on Collision that week. Oh, probably I, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up on Dynamite that week too, just because he you should know, Chicago. Yeah, yeah, he probably should. Sure. Uh, do you want to talk about this band list? Okay, so you know what's okay. So so um, I actually have heard from a lot of guys because I'm because I asked a lot of guys, but. It's not, it's like, it's the story is obviously true. You know, I mean, everything that you read and everything like that. I mean, that's, there's a list and all this, but like, it's really like, it, aside from the fact that, that um, Brian Danielson did the convulsing, convulsing thing once that nobody really thought was a good idea. So it will never be done again, whether they had a rule against it or not, it still wasn't going to be done again. And the spitting thing, I saw that big spit spot that uh, I think, I don't forget it was Jay or Juice, but I remember it was all over Dash uh, Dax Harwood's body on Saturday night. Um, it, it's it's really nothing like like um, the rules of the band stuff have been in play. They haven't been written down, but those are all rules that have already been in play um, since like the beginning, since the first time Chris Nowinski and Tony Khan talked, and Chris Nowinski talked to everybody. It's like those things that you see as band, they've always been. It's not like this is something new. Um, yeah, you, know, you have the brawling in the crowd with the blood, um, you know, is, you know, that's somewhat new, but you can, you know, there's nothing there that's going to change anything. And then all the stuff where you need agents approval, the reality is the stars are all going to get agents approval anyway. Um, and like one person goes like, look, if I did every single one of these things mentioned, I'd tell the, I would, I tell the agent now, you know what I mean? Beforehand. And every now and then something will happen because of the nature of how the match goes where you want to do something and you just kind of improvise because it's not all scripted, you know, laid out move for move. And, you know, you may end up doing that and, you know, it, it, it may, you know, will you end up, will they go, Hey, please don't do that. You, it wasn't approved. If you're a pro and you're a top guy, they're going to give you the benefit of the doubt of the impro improvisation or at worst, you know, they'll just say, Hey, look, you know whatever but it's like they're not going to take away people's rights mm -hmm. to have the matches they're not going to like people think it's going to tone down they're going to be like wb there's going to be and this is from multiple people there there's gonna be no change in the matches of these guys um and it's not really like a, a major thing because it's like in all those dives on the stage and things like that you know, they, they, the cameramen know, people know, people know ahead of time because they have to know how to shoot them. So that's going to happen. Now, as far as will there maybe be stuff to where, but this should always be the goal. You know, and we saw it on, um, 
what was it? The last the 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 last pay per view. Remember the last pay per view we had we had no blood in all of those matches, and because all that blood was going to be in the main event. Mm-hmm. And you know that's already in play. I think that like again, like hard way blood, whatever. But I mean, as far as intentional blood, I think when it comes to a pay per view or TV, you know, it's like yeah, you know, if there's an accident, no one's getting fined for an accident, but you don't want blood in every match. You don't want blood in six matches on a pay-per-view show either. And, um, you know, that's just part of it. And, and so, yeah, I mean, as far as like talent wise, like it's like people were going like, you know, what was talent think? And it's like, they don't really, it's like, it's, it's no one's mad. It's kind of like the band stuff has already been banned for the most part, other than the spitting. And of course we can go without spitting. Right. Or, or, um, you know, bleeding and bleeding on fans, which is never a good idea or, or, you know, whatever, stealing drinks from fans, which, you know, there's what what value of entertainment do you lose by not doing that? You know, minimum to none. You know, um, so it's not it's like it's it's not something that anyone's concerned over or anyone thinks is negative. It's pretty much I think everything's going to be largely the same. I mean, I think some people want to go, oh man, it's like they're they're now they're really cracking down, and it's like it's it's kind of always been most of these rules have already been there for a long long time. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh oh. Hey. Uh- what are you doing? Brian. Oreo. Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show. Oh no. Dom. Oreo. Hit that music, brother. Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. <laughs> When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.